and welcome. What is OBS Ninja? It's a new one. They've got OBS. They've got Streamlabs OBS, but why do you need OBS Ninja? Well, to be honest with you, it's something really great. What I'm going to do is share a few points with you and let you know exactly what it is and what you can do with it. So OBS Ninja is an additional thing to OBS. So it's not a new OBS or a replacement. It brings live video from your smartphone and your computer or other friends mobiles directly into OBS. So when you add a source in OBS like a camera, you could add another source in wirelessly. You can wireless you can wireless live stream from your phone to your computer. So if I had my mobile phone, what I could do with this phone is send a link from the computer to my phone. Similar to how you do with Streamlabs. You can use the link and the phone becomes a webcam via Wi-Fi or mobile data. So if I was out and about and I had to attend a meeting, that link could be sent to me and I could do it via my phone. So there's a few options there. It includes audio and video, which is an excellent thing. How to make your smartphone a wireless webcam for live streaming. I'm going to show you how to set it up and look into the, the functions of it and how you can make benefit of it. You can share video and audio from your smartphone to your computer wirelessly. Remember, this is going to be a source added to your computer. So you'll still need your main computer, but you can have a tablet, a mobile phone, uh, some of the old Apple iPods, Mac computers, any type of computer will work. It works through a browser, so the website. So that's why it works. You can add it as a remote video source to live streams. Pull in other people's videos and audio into your own podcast or live session. So for example, if I was live streaming right now, I could have sent that link out to someone and they could join me and I could put them into OBS. How amazing is that? So what I'll do is I'll cover a few more pointers about this and make this a complete guide. This is your overview of what OBS Ninja is, uh, how to use OBS Ninja with OBS Studio. You can see I like what they did with the logo. See, notice there the logo they got. That's the old OBS and this one they made into a bit of a ninja star. So well done. Uh, big shout out to Steve from Reddit. He's one of the guys doing the development on it. So I picked it up from there. It's been out for about four months and they're still doing work on it. But I think it's something to keep an eye on and watch out StreamYards and Zoom and everybody else. These guys are making something interesting. How to use OBS Ninja with OBS Studio. What's the two differences? OBS Studio is a software you use on your desktop. OBS Ninja is an online streaming service, I'll call it, where you can send a link to somebody to join an online server, which then you can use in OBS as a source. So you can actually get a guest on using their mobile phone or tablet or laptop, audio and video, and you can have a great setup. Let me go quickly into this setup and show you exactly how to set it up in OBS. And you can take benefit of this and start creating some great content. Okay, so where do you want to start? Let's go to Google and type in OBS Ninja. OBS Ninja. That will bring up the first link here. Bring live video from your smartphone, computer, or friends directly into OBS Studio, 100% free. So let's go to OBS.Ninja. You'll be presented with four buttons. Create a room. You can actually create a room and become, well, let me show you quickly what I mean. So you can enter a new name, live chat you can make a password on it which you can send out to everybody to join as a member invite a guest this link here you can copy once you've copied that you can send that to anybody via whatsapp via message and they can join your room guests hear each other you've got a guest up to four at the moment in here and um, capture a group scene so you can actually use in obs or other youtube software to capture the group video mix so you can have like a similar to stream yards but you have different people showing. So that's the one side of it. Let me show you another side. You can add your camera to OBS. That's what we're interested in doing. So what I'm gonna do is click on this gray button. It's gonna open up. First thing you'll notice here is asking, asking for permission. So make sure you give permission for your microphone and your cameras. I've got a number of cameras here. Uh, time that, that's fine, okay? Because at the moment I'm using that on the OBS. Let's do remember, allow, and then waiting for camera to load that's fine let's try the other one okay so you can see now i've got from the drop down menu i'm using my hdmi capture card to be able to do this let's see if i can do my canon webcam at the same time so for now this is a feed you can see here the microphone is also moving so i know my mic setup as well 
you can do settings and you can do different resolutions and also it tells you what the frame rate is there let me see if i can switch to my canon webcam in chrome i've entered my webcam i've entered the meeting in my browser this is using my computer you see along the bottom i've got my standard meeting things i can share my screen stuff like that what you know pay attention to is on the top there in green copy that copy to clipboard then what you want to do is bring your obs screen into play and then we're going to add a source so if we do on this screen add and uh, we're going to call it a browser because it's an internet we'll call that uh, chrome brow browser i'll do okay and then in here where it says url i'll paste the url the width i know it's 1080 by 1920 by 1080 1080 1920 by 1080 let's do okay and then you'll see it'll pop up the source okay so now it will bring in the source so you can see there what I've done is added my camera via an internet connection back into OBS so it's actually a Chrome browser link so in the same way that was done on the computer let's do it on mobile now so let me show you how this works on mobile it's gonna be video and audio and I'll give you a breakdown of how to set it up and how you use it so we've got to use an imagination let's think this phone is in America so I have a friend in America. I want them to join my live stream. How does it work? I tell my friend to go onto OBS via a Chrome browser. Let's see if you can see this. So we go into here, OBS Ninja. And this brings up a Google result for the browser. You click on the site. Now remember the four options we got on the browser. They will get these options. What you're going to tell them to do is not drop their phone. Uh, in America, they're going to click add your camera to OBS. It's going to say, do you want to allow this? Can you see that? It's probably too bright. You're basically saying, allowing microphone and camera, we do allow. So now it will give you a source just like that and say which camera do you want, front facing or back facing? I'm going to say I want my front facing camera. Audio source is also picking up my microphone, which is excellent. So let's do start. Start has been achieved. Next, on the top, there's a little green icon. Well, not icon, but text. You click on the text and you copy it. Copied to clipboard. So that we need to send to our UK friend. So let's send that as a message to our UK friend. So now I'm in the UK and I've had a message from America. What is the message? They've sent me a link to add into OBS. So let's bring our OBS over here. And I'm going to add in my American friend. So if I do plus and then go to browser. And I'm going to call this America friend who is on his mobile phone. I want to add him into my OBS. And we're going to paste in here. Width is 1080 because he's in not a uh, landscape. 1920. Let's go OK. Let's make sure our there. You see, I have my American friend. Let me just go make. OK. So will it capture the audio is the question let me see if i've included the audio so if i go back so make sure when you include the source america friend that here you do use control audio via obs and do okay so now yes, yes. you should, you should hear two voices, voices. But let, me let me turn, turn my... my okay so this is my america friend hello united kingdom Hello, how are you? And then I can turn that uh, mobile phone mic off. Turn my UK mic back on. And yes, American friend, hello. So basically, I've used my... This is getting confusing, isn't it? The idea of the story is the mobile phone is connected wirelessly. I'm just plugged the charger in, so that's not plugged in. So I'm connected to America which this phone would be in America if someone was there, but any country really, India, America, Philippines, anywhere. And I can use it in my OBS to chat with people. But if I didn't want to do it this way, 
I could use it as a webcam. Now I'm using a mobile phone wirelessly as a webcam. You wanna see the feed? Let's bring the feed. There is the feed of the mobile phone into OBS via my mobile phone via the OBS browser. That's quite, actually quite good because now we're using it wirelessly with the audio if I needed to. So say for example, I didn't have any other cameras. Let me bring you back to that screen. Okay, so let's get rid of this mic. Let's bring that full screen. Okay, right now I am using my mobile phone. You should look in the camera. I'm using my mobile phone as a wireless webcam and the audio is coming from the phone. Hoping you found that useful. I'm gonna link you to another playlist about how to use OBS Ninja and I'm hoping we all make use of it because it's actually quite interesting the way they've set it up and the best thing about it, it is free so you know you can't go wrong guys see you on the next video to support this video I've got a link in the description to my mailing list make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets guides and frequently asked questions which will help you get through this journey